Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting in association with Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. The late Wade Bourne is no stranger to DUTV fans. With several choice cuts featuring this giant of outdoor communication at his very best, we are honored to dedicate our final show of this season to our friend Wade. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Ducks Unlimited Television's new season. This year we'll travel to exciting places where wings whistle above and memories are made with each new dawn. Come share these adventures with us each week and celebrate the heritage of waterfowling as we too follow the flyways. This is Ducks Unlimited. You think of Idaho, you think of elk and deer and mountain species, big game. Well, let me tell you something. Idaho is a waterfowler state. Southern part along the Snake River Valley is full of people that enjoy watching ducks and geese, hunting them, and they're also great conservationists. First morning, we launched at a little public launching area, and then we turned and ran upriver about a mile and uh, had some, some brush cut and piled between trees where we could uh, get set up, cover overhead, just a really good spot. All right, on the board. Boy, that's really pretty work. These birds are coming from somewhere upstream and they're just appearing around the bend and a lot of times they've got their wings set. These birds, about every five or 10 minutes, we have another flight that comes along and the shots are easy and they're right over, right in front about 20, 25 yards. So that's the way I like them. Mighty fine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they just keep they just keep coming and uh, we keep putting them on the spring. After I hunt, we hurried back to town to the big waterfowl party that they have every year here in Hagerman. It's something we've tried to do every year toward the end of the hunting season since Hagerman, Idaho is such a big waterfowling community. The heritage here is great. It was full of people. They were just having the best time and the walls were lined with door prizes. The food was excellent. Everything was just kicking into gear and a lot of fun and somebody said, there's water coming in from outside somewhere. And the next thing we know, water is just inching its way across the floor and the crowd starts moving back out of the way. Somebody had uh, run over a water main or something outside the building and it had sprayed up a geyser of water. It looked like Old Faithful and, and then this water started pooling and started moving in. But hey, uh, DU people are used to water. So somebody got the water turned off and the floor was wet and the decoys had floated a little bit. but. Uh, it never slowed the party down. You know, you got to give it to this Hagerman crowd here and the, and the, and the waterfowling crowd. That they just grabbed another beer and had a good time. And uh, it was, it was kind of fun. Ducks on Limited Television, presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems. Innovators in waterfowl hunting. Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades the official camo of Ducks Unlimited and Ducks Unlimited's Rescue Our Wetlands campaign, banding together for waterfowl. From the time I could put on boots and get in the marsh, nothing has given me that charge or that excitement or that enthusiasm that waterfowl hunting does. 
brilliant. I still enjoy it and I want to do it as much as I did when I was 16. Good job, guys. There we go. You know, weather changes can play a big role in how the ducks respond to your call and how they fly and you know, whether or not you can pull them into the decoys. We started the season here with very good results and the weather was good. As luck will have it sometimes, the weather changed for the better. Some people would think for the worse for duck hunters. It got warmer, stiller. We had an overcast sky and if you are a waterfowler, you know that uh, those are not good conditions to work birds. Good shot. On December 15, 2016, the waterfowling community lost a great friend. Wade Bourne was like family to those of us who enjoy sunrises in the marsh, friendship cultivated in a duck blind, and the satisfaction of giving back to our wild resources. As editor-at-large for Ducks Unlimited magazine, Wade contributed features and columns to the publication for two decades. In 2004, he began appearing on Ducks Unlimited TV, sharing his waterfowling exploits and expertise with viewers throughout North America. Wade built an enduring relationship with Ducks Unlimited members and millions of America's waterfowl hunters. Through his work, generations of sports men and women learned to be better hunters and anglers, but more importantly, he taught them to be better stewards of our wildlife resources and outdoor heritage. Wade's legacy rests not only in the laughter and love he shared with his friends and family, but also in the whistle of the wings at sunrise on a winter morning and in the promise of new life in a pintail nest on the Canadian prairie. Wade's career made a lasting difference for waterfowl, for the habitat so vital to their survival, and for all who enjoy this amazing resource. DU Insights is brought to you by Mossy Oak Properties. Find your favorite place at mossyoakproperties.com. DU TV is powered by Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. Mossy Oak Properties, America's land specialist. Kent Cartridge, performance, quality, tradition, biologic, scientifically proven wildlife products. Higdon Outdoors, quality, customer service, innovation. That's Higdon Outdoors and Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. But let me tell you, the duck hunt is about a whole lot more than how many birds you bring in in that boat when the hunt's over. Uh, it's about the good times you've shared, it's about the friendships you've made, it's about uh, the stories that you've told. It's about fostering that legacy and that appreciation for the habitat, et cetera, et cetera. It's just been a fabulous time. I've truly, truly enjoyed it. You play this game long enough, sooner or later you're going to get some breaks. I've been watching the front move closer and closer the last couple of days, and last night it blew through. Brought with it this morning some cold temperatures and stiff breezes out of the north, and let me tell you, the ducks responded, and we had a wonderful, fantastic duck shoot this morning.
What does Ducks Unlimited do for that? It's got a tremendously talented group of people who are passionate about getting the resource, protecting it. It is the best vehicle that exists today for a sportsman to put a dollar back into the resource, for it to allow for us to have our future generations experience what we've been able to. Look, look right there. Golly. Here we go, in front. They're coming in, coming in the front. Man, look at the duck fall. I've really been impressed with Orange Dog Coda. A good dog will save you a lot of birds. They're good conservationists. Orrin himself is a conservationist and he's got a dog that helps him be a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good bunch of ducks. That's the way to make ducks fall, boys. Good job. It's a dream for me to be in South Louisiana on opening weekend and to hunt with these two guys. It has truly been an experience that I will retain for the rest of my days. I hope we get to do it again, but if we don't, I can say that I have been there and I have sampled the best in South Louisiana. We love hunting spring grasses. Gets the dog in hunting, using his nose, lots of cover, prepares us for later. In summertime, springtime, you can get a lot of debris all getting in the dog's nose, eyes, and gums. When Deke is running through the grass, he's hitting this stuff, and all this stuff is flying directly into his face from the bumper. When you're hunting with pheasants and milo, those birds are knocking the stuff when they're running right into the dog's eyes. So you have to learn to sweep the dog's eyes. All we use is a Q-tip saline solution, put it in the dog's eye and sweep it out. It's a rotation. We're gonna go into the corner of the eye, flush it with the eye care, clean it out, get as much debris out as you can, then stick your swab right under the eye and rotate. It's a rotating manner that takes out all the debris. At the end of the day, sweep your eyes, whether you're training or hunting. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Duck Dog with Mike Stewart is presented by Purina ProPlan, nutrition that performs. I get so much pleasure out of this for a number of reasons. Number one, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> Man, was that pretty or what? That was pretty good. How many shells do we have? Six duck limit, 12 shells apiece. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> All right, home sweet home. DUTV is brought to you by Bush Hog. Performance you can count on. Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting, native nurseries, hand selected, hand grown plants for wildlife. Buck Gardner Calls, champion of champions, with closed captioning provided by Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited. Shooting a double takes planning. If you want to shoot doubles, you need to think your whole shot through. What a lot of people will do if they have a flock come in is they'll pick a far bird, shoot that one, and then as the rest of the flock flares, they've got a close one right in their face to make that second shot. Another way is to pick a bird down toward the bottom of the flock. You shoot that one. They flare up, then you can see all the birds up over your gun. It's easy to find another target and take it. And the last thing though is, if your plan doesn't work, if you miss that first shot, don't switch to another bird, just kill the one you're shooting at. Duck Gun is presented by Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American.
When we came out of the motel, guess what? We had thunderstorms in the area. These were not in the forecast. Now, as we were driving in, we drove through a heavy downpour. I thought there's absolutely no way we're gonna get to hunt today. By the time we got out to the field, the storms had moved east of us. Just about an hour later, the sky was clear. The second morning, of course, Tim was back with us, but uh, he brought along a whole new cast of hunters. We had some young biologists and engineers from the DU Grand Isle office, and uh, these guys were really mud under the fingernails kind of hunters. They were excited to be there, and we were excited to have them. And we were hiding in bulrushes this time, or in uh, what they call perennial reeds, just sitting on marsh stools. So we were just huddled down in the vegetation. Had the sun to our back. Of course, now the storm moving, the sun had come up, and the light was beautiful, and the ducks were on the wing and we had a good breeze. It's just one of those mornings that you wait for. All right, on the board. Yep. We got in real early, got set, got the decoys out, and we were able to get tucked in and hide. Didn't have a lot of movement right off the bat, just kind of like the first morning, but then it heated up. As soon as the first birds showed up and the first shots were fired, birds kept coming for 45 minutes, it seemed like. Stay low. There's a big group out front behind that, whatever that big bird is. Here he goes, a pair. Right down the pipe. Stay All low. Right, Stay low. Our focus in the Rainwater Basin is habitat protection. Our Revolving Lands program is one of the most robust in the nation. Basically, purchase a property that has wetland value. A lot of times the wetlands are degraded. We restore the Rainwater Basin wetlands on those properties. Protection on them through a conservation easement, either one of ours or one of our conservation partners, and resell the property and reinvest in other properties. Also, we help on public lands quite a bit doing restoration projects and enhancement projects on their land, installing pumps, installing water control structures so that they can better manage their wetlands, just generally helping out in any way we can with our partners. This state is great for partnerships and different wildlife organizations all band together to protect this unique landscape. Single coming in. Three out front, coming down the pipe. Three boys, four. Single. All right, I got a mark on him. Okay. Big duck high. On the left, coming in. Got four out front, coming in. Hit it, come, hit it, come. Nice. We started shooting there. Evidently, there were a lot of birds down on the far end of the marsh. And they've all gotten up and started stirring around. And just we've got teal flying almost everywhere now. Real fast action. Nice shooting tech. Nice shooting tech. When it's on, it's on. This is a grand spectacle, you know, this is a a sight to thrill the heart of every waterfowler. I've done it all my life, it never gets old. It always refreshes me and excites me to see ducks like this work. Wade loved everything that Ducks Unlimited stands for, and he forever remains a central figure to the idea that Ducks Unlimited and DUTV will continue to inspire others to take up the cause to carry the fire on behalf of wetlands and wildlife. From all of us at Ducks Unlimited, here's wishing you and yours the spectacular sights and sounds of waterfowl on the wing. Thank you.